Cheap land can make your RV dreams come true. Find out how next. I am so impressed with how Scott and Charlotte are doing RV life. I can't wait to share it with you. They decided to do it the non-typical way, and boy, they are saving a lot of money. They purchased land in Nevada that was cheap, and they also got some cheap land in Florida. They summer in Nevada because it's high elevation, and they winter in Florida. Now the land is raw, undeveloped land, so they're living away from it all, and get this, they're not paying campground fees. They're not worried about reservations. They're living independently on their terms. They get to see the country when they travel twice a year to go from Nevada to Florida and Florida to Nevada. If you don't know, I've been a full-time RVer for four years and I met with Scott and Charlotte and got a tour of how they do this life. Full-time RVing is something I've always wanted to do. My beloved wife said, you know what? I think that's how I want to live. Scott and Charlotte spent about $5,000 for two acres in Nevada and about $10,000 for a quarter acre in Florida. You get the best of both worlds as far as climate, but you aren't paying an electricity bill. Right. And you're not paying a water bill. No bill. So of course you are paying property taxes. Oh yeah. Uh, I believe it's like $20 a year. $20 for this one and $20 for the one in Nevada. We know our neighbors, you know. We watch out for them, they watch out for us. And it's the same way in Nevada. Oh, especially in Nevada is amazing. Then again, our nearest neighbor is a mile and a half in Nevada. The majority of the folks that are here are full-time mobile RVers. One gentleman that has the corner spot that you came out, he comes out once a month. Maybe, you know, I've met him a couple times. Otherwise, there's nobody out here. That's just awesome. I mean, because it's one of the things I'm noticing is how peaceful it is. We're not hearing traffic. I mean, we're on dirt roads anyway, but mm -hmm. we're not hearing a highway. It's, it's very secluded. But how long is it to get to, like, say you got to go to the grocery store? How far is that? Uh, 10 minutes. Ace Hardware is five minutes away. Pretty much a two year planning. How are we going to do this? So we started the planning. We said, okay, we're going to need solar. We're going to need a backup. And that's kind of one of my big things are backups. In Nevada, we also have wind and, of course, our backup generators. What I have are 400 watts, 100 watts each, flexible solar panels. Typically, between 9 and 10 o'clock, I'll start pulling in roughly 4 amps. By the time noon comes up, I'm pulling everything it's got. My 300 amp hour AGM batteries are fully charged. And then I have a 2,000 watt inverter. There's like a community spring. You can go there and fill up with water for free. The state park that's closest to us will allow me to go in and fill up there. In Nevada, most of the gas stations will let you fill up for free. Here, we use a 65 gallon container. We'll take and throw it on the back of the truck, and then I'll go to wherever we do the fill up. Once we get done, I'll take an oat, come over here to uh, our 275 gallon tank and transfer the water. You know, thank goodness we don't have to go far to get the water. And it's free. It's free. Then it's connected just like you would at a campground. How often do you go through 275 gallons? A week, week and a half. When we first got our washer dryer, my concern was, oh geez, we're going to be doing more. No, I was thrilled. I think four-ish gallons. Yeah. Okay, here's the wonderful thing. We have a composting system. We have a nature's head system, yep. but all that comes out is gray water. So what happens, of course, we have our gray tank that everyone is familiar with. We'll allow it to fill up, oh, about half full. I'll pull it and it runs down into, I have a, uh, a tank right down here that it falls into. And you've got like a it's French drain. And a French, yeah, we have, we have our leash lines running out the back. Uh -oh. I'm adding, adding more uh, as the day goes, but that's kind of overkill. Okay, our household trash, we have two trash cans. And when they fill up, we can take them to the transfer station that's located here. And it doesn't cost anything. When we're in Nevada, it cost us $5 
for a dump run and our dump runs are maybe every two to three weeks. As far as utilities, when we're in Nevada, it's maybe 10 bucks a month. While we're here, it's zero. This is a 30 footer toy hauler, no slides. Wow, look at all so, the counter space you have. Yeah, again, yeah, this is, this is why I love having a bare bone trailer is I can build whatever I want. So yes, in the back, our pets live like king and queen. And this is where they will sleep at night, but during the day, they're outside. We have our own private patio. We have a screen to keep the bugs out and an additional screen to really give us privacy. Well, you've got privacy for sure, but oh, yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. When you're standing out here and you look around, you see green, you see nature, you hear nothing except birds. And you see birds and it's beautiful. It is a washer and dryer, non-vented. It has probably one of the highest RPMs when it goes into spinning. The reason we picked up this one is the fact that our sleeping area is totally separate from everything else. Yeah, totally. So inside here is our bathroom. The nature's head composting toilet. If we do some really long boondocking, which we've done in Arizona, I have a diverter that changes our 40 gallon gray tank into a 80 gallon gray tank. It'll divert part of that water into what used to be the black tank. I have what I call the man throne because men, well, we're men. It gives Charlotte a way to have her own little world in my own little world. I have another one in Nevada that is the same concept. You don't want to have number one and number two combined. That's the way the uh, nature head toilet is set up, that there is a separation between the two. Mine's the same concept. I have number two going in here because it's a nice comfy seat, and number one right here. Number two is nothing more than a garbage bag. Once we get to a point where it's time to go to the dump, this is a uh, kind of a pine pellet kitty litter mm -hmm. that I add into the number two that reduces the liquid, it reduces the smell, and it also starts the process of the breakdown. So yeah, if I wanted to, I could throw it out into the trees to help with the nutri uh, nutrients. But the majority of the time, I'll take and put it in the trash and then just transfer it to the dump. Number one, that's an easy thing. Once I get to a point where it's time to dump it, you can dump it pretty much anywhere and it keeps away uh, animals and snakes and stuff because they smell the human scent and it's, they stay away. What helps is using vinegar sprayed into it and that reduces the smell. Now you can find cheap land all over the U.S., especially Nevada, Colorado, Texas. I'm going to have lots of links in the description where you can find property like this, as well as off-grid living links. I think what Scott and Charlotte are doing is an affordable option. It allows you to be independent. You're not relying on campgrounds or worried about reservations. And you know, a lot of people just don't like campgrounds and that's understandable. If you want to be away from it all, this is definitely the way to go. Let me know if off-grid living is for you, why or why not. And as always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.